I would like to share to you some of the tips, the outlines, and of course, a sample on how I presented my research during the research congress in the division. The first one is your greetings. Make sure it is brief and simple. Here is the sample. To our ever beloved school's division superintendent, Dr. Marilisa R. Tabilon, most respected division personnel, most distinguished panelists, and my fellow presenters, good morning. Second is you have to present, of course, your title. Make sure that it is direct to the point. So here is the sample. I am so honored and humbled to present to you a research entitled Students' Perception on Kaagapay Project Basis for Project Sustainability. Fourth is you need to present your independent variable. So the independent variable that I am trying to say here is, of course, the, the intervention, the action, the initiatives, or the program that we are, that we are making our research into. Here, you need to define and describe your independent variable briefly and of course you need to give the objective and also present the problem or the situation in in the local and of course lastly you need to explain more about it briefly but clearly so here is the sample but what is kagapay project well, it is a Supreme Student Government SSG project described as a holistic approach and an innovative solution to answer the uprising crisis in both the school and the community. That is why all possible interventions shall be put in convergence just to achieve realistic impacts and results. It was born to assist and support the youth or learners in combating the crisis brought by some difficult situations but not limited to the occurrence of the COVID-19 pandemic. The general objective of the program is to help the beneficiaries recover from present crisis and make them empowered members of the community. So, we consulted the students and identified specific crises or problems in our schools. The problems were identified or raised during the first general assembly, during the SPG and SSG Gutalapuan District Leadership Training and Program Updates, and of course during the, the, the administration of the psychosocial first aid. And here are the problems or the issues being identified. One is difficulties in coping up with their modules. Second, increased use of social media and productively. Third, worried about the COVID-19 pandemic which somehow affects their mental, their mental health and number four is the spread of fake news and multiple fake FB page of the school. That is why we come up with five Kagape project initiatives such as learner support group or the LSG, psychosocial support activities, home gardenscaping and the creation of the GNHS official Facebook page each initiative has its own framework, specific objectives, and identified beneficiaries. We also have internal and external partnerships. The fifth outline is, of course, you need again to present your research rationale. And this time, try to, to find the relevance of your study to your independent variable. The findings of the study served as the basis of the project continuity and guide for the formulation and sustainability plan to help attain the general and specific goals of the project. The next thing that you are going to do is, of course, you need also to present your research questions. The research specifically addressed the following questions. One, what are the students' perceptions on Kaagapay project, such as the psychosocial support activities, the backyard gardening, creation of the learner support group, and the creation of the GNHS FB page? Second, is there a significant difference in the means between the pre-test and the post-test of the literacy and numeracy skills assessment of the pre-identified struggling learners of Gutalak National High School? Third, what sustainability plan can be proposed to sustain the Kaagapay project? So another thing that you need to present or you need to incorporate in your research presentation is the, your research methodologies such as sampling and participants, data collection procedures, ethical issues, 
and the data analysis. The researchers conducted this study using quantitative research methods and total enumeration since the study surveyed all the 27 participants of the psychosocial support activities, 18 participants of the home gardenscaping, and 77 participants of the learner support group. There were a total of 122 respondents. The data collected in response to the first statement of the problem was analyzed and interpreted using the weighted mean with the following interpretation strongly disagree disagree undecided agree and strongly agree this statement of the problem was interpreted with pair t-test using the spss version 26 so here are our findings and interpretations based on the data the psychosocial support activities, which is one of the initiatives of Kagape project, was deemed beneficial by both students and parents, resulting in a grand mean of 4.24 and a verbal description of strongly agree. It indeed helped overcome anxieties, fears, and concerns brought about by the pandemic. So the project significantly improved the participants' mental and emotional health uh, this finding corroborates Kalmar Zarin's 2014 assertion that artistic creation possesses a capacity for treatment and healing. The Kiagape project participants enjoyed the home gardenscaping initiative. Generally, the students' perception on backyard gardening received a grand mean of 4.50 and a verbal description of strongly agree. As mentioned earlier, this data implies that participants in the activity find backyard gardening beneficial particularly given the lengthy lockdown period. Participants unanimously agree that backyard gardening taught them the value of indigenous foods. This observation is accurate and corroborated by Blake and Fisher's 2009 study. The Learner Support Group initiative helps struggling learners in keeping up with their modules with a grand mean of 4.14 and a verbal description equivalent to strongly agree, the student's perception implies that learner support group has a considerable impact on keeping the of learning modules to struggling learners. The overall perception of the learners towards learners support group is in coherence with the findings of studies of Johnson 1971 and Peterson et al. 1985. The Facebook page of Gutalak National High School generates a favorable response from the students. The overall perception of the Facebook page creation generates a grand mean of 4.21, indicating agreement with the page purpose and impact on the students. Additionally, the page featured several engaging and timely activities that elicit positive responses from students. Sally 2016, it all emphasized that Facebook occupies an important part of people's time and life due to the recent development in the field of communication technologies. In comparing the pre-test and post-test on the literacy and numeracy skills, the researchers used the Acer tool. Based on the pretest mean under literacy skill assessment, which is 4.8000, the two T's literacy skill improved a lot, measured in the post test with a mean of 8.3125. The negative result of the T test for paired samples explains that the assessment scores in the post test were significantly higher, showing the significant two tailed value of 0 0.000. This means that the, the intervention initiated by the Kagapai project through the learner support group was effective with respect to the present investigation. Therefore, the null hypothesis is rejected while the alternative hypothesis is accepted. The pretest mean under numeracy skill assessment, which is 3.8250, the truth is numeracy skill improved a lot measured in the post-test with a mean of 7.6250. The negative result of the t-test or for paired samples explains that the assessment scores in the post-test was significantly higher showing the significant two-tailed value of 0 0.000. This means that the intervention initiated by the Kiagapai project through learner support group was effective with respect to the present investigation. Therefore, the null hypothesis is rejected while the alternative hypothesis is accepted. That's it, but another thing to present, and that is also very important in your research presentation, is your researchers' recommendations. 
here's how I did it. Dika Agapay project made a positive impact on the perception of the Gutalak National High School stakeholders. Then the following are the researchers' recommendations. One, the school administration should assist the SSG in succeeding the sustainability plan. Two, the school should formulate a memorandum of agreement or MOA to the local government units to support the power teachers for funding. Three, the school will provide training to the tutors for them to perform well their duties and responsibilities in the field. This step may also awake, awaken their interest to become educators in the future. Fourth, the school administration will provide financial support intended for the prizes to gain more participants in the contest. Fifth, or the number five, the school will designate a person in charge in the school's Facebook page to respond to the stakeholders' queries. Sixth, or the last recommendation, is the entire Gutalak 1 district will adapt the project since the needed workforce is readily available each school. And lastly, present status of your independent variable or the present status of your independent variable or which again which means the the action, the intervention, the initiative or the program you are you are researching into. Give only the highlight if possible. So now uh, what sustainability plan can be proposed then to sustain the Kayagapay project? Since we already conducted research and based on the recommendations, we have to come up with a sustainability plan. But prior to that, we made a resolution number 01 series of 2020-2021, a resolution re institutionalizing Kaagapay project. So here's the sustainability plan for the Kaagapay project. Uh, the emerging issues were identified during the project implementation and were given with suggest suggested future plans or innovations. So along along with the implementation of the Kagape project, the team received a Sidlak Award as one of the top 10 youth brilliant initiatives in the province of Zamboanga del Norte last July 2021. And finally, you should not end your research presentation just like that. You also need to have your final salutations and here you need to try to make a difference. Try to touch the, the hearts of your panelists. This is how I did it. Thank you so much for listening. My co-researchers and I are so overwhelmed to share the results of our research because we also want to humbly share this Kaagape project we've initiated in our school. We believe that this project is pure evidence that no matter what type of platform we use, teachers are creative and always ready to adopt practices to keep students engaged and motivated. We are educators. We always find a way to advocate good education. If there's a will, of course, there's always a way. Thank you so much and good morning.